Welcome back everybody. So today we're going to try Founders All Day IPA. I don't believe I've reviewed this before here in Michigan. This is one of the staples next to uh, Bell's Two Hearted. That one's a little higher in ABV, but a lot of people drink this. Uh, I did pick this up. Founders has a new All Day Variety Pack, so I'm going through each one. Then I'll do a little... I guess testing review of all of them. Also, they posted a uh, like an explanation of each one. So I took a picture of it, and at the end, in that tasting review, I'll go over it then because I don't want to know it. I just took a picture and closed it. So session ale is what this is called. Um, this has to uh, 42 IBUs, 4.7 percent ABV. Uh, date on this. Canned on 131 uh, 23. Um, this is beginning of March, so we are good. So let's go ahead and get this into a glass. Uh, Founders does sale f sell 15 packs of this, and like I said, I see a lot of people <clears throat> drinking this or uh, too hearted. Head on this one, kind of off-white, a little orangish golden color uh, coming through there. Uh, about a finger of head. For the color, uh, I would say golden yellow in color. Hopefully, there we go. You can see through it. Uh, it looks like there's a little bit more caramel malt on this. In this, for that low of ABV, it's, I guess, interesting to see that color, but it's always been like this. So let's go ahead and smell. I get that sweet malt in there, maybe a touch of fruit, uh, maybe a touch of citrus, like pine citrus in there. Uh, 40, what did I say, 47, 42 IBUs. Um, it almost smells more like a double IPA than it does a session ale. Uh, I would put this in the IPA category, but that's just me. But yeah, that sweet malt, uh, I'm guessing that's what's given that co copper color, that golden yellow color. They're using like some Crystal 40 or Crystal 60 in here, and I think that's bringing out the sweetness. Uh, but you do get a little fruit, maybe a little bit more citrus pine, maybe slight grapefruit rind bitterness in there. So let's go ahead and taste. First thing I find, I think the perceived bitterness is closer to 60 uh, than it is that low 40. It's a big, I get, I wouldn't say bitter, but like definitely a grapefruit rind bitterness that lasts throughout the whole entire palate into the aftertaste. You get a little bit of that maltiness, but I could see somebody getting into craft beer or beer in general, since Founders is not craft beer. Um, seeing this at 4.7, seeing the Session Ale and picking it up and not liking it, uh, just because of that bitterness, more like West Coast style IPA, in my opinion, than anything. Yeah, maybe a little bit of that fruit, but more malty sweetness with a hint of fruit. Then it's like that citrus grapefruit rind really kicks in, goes into the aftertaste. Light body though, easy drinking. But again, that, that bitterness for somebody just getting into beers like this, I think it's going to be a little too much for them. It's definitely like you're drinking a bigger beer than what you are. Uh, I don't know when I did it on Untap, but I did give it a 3.75. I would probably go with a 3. Point, or I'm sorry, a 3.5. Let me check to make sure because now I'm doubting myself. Yeah, uh, 3.5. I would go with a 3.75. Um, I think for an all-day drinker, I think that bitterness will just get to you. I don't drink this very much, um, but that bitterness just seems like it keeps building and building and I think after a while it'll get too much. I couldn't drink this all day but yeah overall a good one. Let's check on tap. Like I said uh, the one time I checked it in I'm not going to click on it but 3.5. 
Uh, 143 of my friends have checked it in, 3.75. Uh, 535,000 people have checked it in, 3.7. For the guidelines, hoppy, light, smooth, clean, strong. Um, I'm not going to keep going through all these. Um, yeah, good for a baseball game. But, yeah, so if this sounds like a beer that's in your alley, definitely one to pick up and try. If you like this review, check out some more over here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe bell and ring, or hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. And until next time, cheers.